Nick Hucknall has revealed he is suffering with long COVID and is struggling with the after effects of the virus. Speaking to The Sun, the Simply Red singer, 61, told how he suffers with heart palpitations and insomnia, explaining how he often wakes up in the middle of the night with my heart going ba-boom, ba-boom. Last month the star was forced to cancel his rescheduled gigs after he and four other members of the Six Strong Band were struck down with coronavirus. And weeks later, Nick is still feeling the effects of the virus, with it recently reported that 1 in 50 Brits are suffering with long COVID. Nick explained, I've got long COVID. I go to bed and wake up in the night with my heart going ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. I just have to grab two or three hours sleep when I can. During his London O2 Arena on Wednesday night, which should have been held on February 19, the songwriter told fans that everyone in the band apart from guitarist Steve Lewinson had previously tested positive. Long COVID is defined as having lingering symptoms of the virus for more than a month after infection. It is a poorly understood condition with sufferers normally reporting extreme tiredness, breathing difficulties, a loss of smell, and problems concentrating. But it has been linked to an array of other symptoms like joint pain, nausea, insomnia, and depression. Meanwhile, Mick shared his elation at finally being back on stage, shouting, We made it, after the gig was postponed four times. later posted a snap of the audience on Instagram, writing, Great support from the O2 London audience last night. Much appreciated after all we've been through. Thank you. Simply Red's tour was originally planned for 2020 but was postponed by the outbreak of COVID, but was then pushed back from its second date in 2021 as the pandemic raged on. The gig was delayed for a third time last month when the group contracted COVID, with the group sharing on social media at the time, Simply Red are 100% committed to complete this tour. Whether you are now unable to attend or not, we are determined to be there for you. While the fourth date was hampered when part of the O2S roof was destroyed thanks to February's storm units. Despite the long delays, Nick told how his voice was sounding better than ever. He said, Not long ago, I did a full vocal warm-up for the first time in three years. My wife and daughter had to leave the house because I was making so much noise. But I was so happy with the results. I'm hitting all the notes I used to hit and the power is still there. Nick who has been the group's lead singer since they began in 1985, lives with his wife Gabriella Wesbury, who he tied the knot with at Porter Castle in Perthshire, Scotland, almost a decade ago. The pair have a daughter together, called Romy True, who was born in 2007 and they live together in his Surrey mansion with their dog, 